application of equation of line in intercept form. Find equation of a straight line through the point 3 comma minus 2 so that the segment of the line intercepted between the axes is bisected at this point. So let's try to understand this question first and then we'll find the equation of line, right? It's always good to draw, visualize and then solve. So we are given a point 3 minus 2 that means 3 minus 2 will be somewhere here and we need a line segment where 3 minus 2 is kind of a midpoint right so so let me just sketch a line first like this that's my line so it's better to sketch a line first then find some midpoint and uh, let's say this is a midpoint right and we are saying that this midpoint bisects the intercepts so the segment is this right find equation of straight line through point 3 minus 2 so this point is 3 minus 2 for us so that the segment of the line intercepted between the axes is bisected so that is x-axis let's call this point as a and this point as b right so the segment a b is bisected by the point 3 minus 2 so we need to basically find equation of line a b so that is the question correct i hope you appreciate it right now some of you can pause the video solve check with my solution then right here is the solution now when i say that the point bisects that means same distance from both the places right let us say point a which is x intercept for us is a comma zero and b is zero comma b the y intercept now the midpoint is p for us correct so that basically means if I add the x values and find the average of it, it should be equal to 3, right? So what I'm trying to say is that a plus 0 divided by 2 should be equal to 3, right? Similarly, the y values average, which is 0 plus b divided by 2, should be equal to minus 2. So that is what a midpoint will result into, right? Now from here, we can solve a and b. So from the first part, we get a equals to 3 times 2 is 6. And from the second part, we get b equals to minus 4. So we got now b as minus 4, right? So let me write down minus 4 for b, right? So this is minus 4 for us and a is 6 for us. Now we know x and y intercepts. And so we can easily write down the equation of the line. Now one way is to use equation in intercept forms and that equation if you remember is x over a right x over a which is the x intercept which is 6 plus y over b which is y over minus 4 equals to 1. So that is using intercept forms. What I applied here is intercept form. Right? So this is one way of solving it. So we get our equation and we can always get it in standard form. That is, we can multiply by 12, right? So if I multiply by 12, I get 2x. And this one will give me minus 3y equals to 12. Or in standard form, we can bring 12 to this side. So we get 2x minus 3y minus 12 equals to 0. So that is one way we could solve it. Now let's do the alternate way and this time we will use slope intercept form. Okay. It's good to solve it two methods. As some of you may like one, some may like the other method, right? We know the y-intercept is minus 4. Now we just need to find the slope. Slope in this case is rise over run. Rise is how much? 4 units, right? You will go up 4 and run is 6. So slope is 4 over 6, which is 2 over 3. We know the slope and we know y-intercept. So we can write down the equation, which is y equals to mx plus b. m is slope, 2 over 3. x value, x plus b, y-intercept, minus 4. So that is 
slope intercept form right now if, if you want to check is it the same thing or not if I multiply by 3 right so I get 3y here right so I get 3y equals to 2x minus 12 bringing them together will give me 2x minus 3y minus 12 equals to 0 right exactly same equation perfect so either way you could get so this is where I've utilized slope intercept form which is y equals to mx plus b right where we know b is 3 comma minus 2 so either way do you can do and get the same equation right but I want you to understand intercept form also since we have done very few problems with intercept form so you can apply and get used to intercept forms very helpful I hope you appreciate it you can subscribe to my videos and learn something new always and get some tips thank you and all the best